So we came across an interesting discovery. The corporate giant Dollar General has a sale on their 2015 seed collection. These seeds are GMO free and they come in many different varieties. Here's some lettuce, some hard squash. We even got some wildflowers for the pollinators in our garden. Long story short, two cents a package, two cents. Now, you know, we're always thinking about when the stuff hits the fan and getting prepared for that moment. So we decided to hoard some of these seeds, not just for our humble garden and our family, but for our community as well. We also got these awesome seed starting pots. These were 20 cents. What a score. So I definitely urge you to, and this is not by any stretch of the imagination an endorsement for Dollar General, but I definitely want you to get these seed packets for you and your family because we need conscious individuals getting prepared for when stuff hits the fan. Check out this receipt. It's bigger than I am. Whoa, just hit the fan. <laughs> Anyways. Please, folks, get ready, and what a great bounty to get ready with. Check this out. Hundreds of packages. This cost me probably no more than $30, $40 at the very most. And if you store them correctly, they'll last for many years. Couple storing tips. One is you can store them in the freezer. As long as they're in a tightly sealed container, they'll stay good in the freezer 10 plus years. You've heard about the Doomsday Sea Vaults up in Norway. Well, that's what they do essentially. They go deep down underground for a very cold environment and freeze the seeds. And that's not the GMO seeds, that's these heirloom seeds that the powers that shouldn't be want to get rid of. Another simple method is putting them in a dry container and simply just storing them in a dry place. As long as you do that, these seeds will last a lifetime. Well, maybe not a lifetime. Although they have found seeds in the tombs of the pharaohs that are still completely doable. All right, folks, Bob Tuscan, please get ready, protect you and your family. And maybe I'm a crazy hoarder and you'll call me out on it in the comments of this video below. Regardless, I hope to share these with friends and family in my community so that we will have food no matter what.